Hey guys, welcome to my conversation with your Georgia 3A 165-pound state champion from Columbus, Ethan Sequoy. Ethan, how does that sound? Sounds amazing. I mean, it's got the first one on there. It's just state champ right now, but looking for the three-time state champ. Yeah, and you know what? I want to I want to delve into last year and kind of your mindset and thinking about that and and your goals and your future and all those sorts of things. But before we get to that, let's jump off the mat and just talk about a couple of things that are just random. You go with that? Yes, sir. All right. All right. So if given the opportunity, would you go to space? Yeah, 100%. I mean... I don't know if I would want to go to like just outer space. I think I'd want to go to like a planet or something. Okay. All right. Like a opportunity. Are you are you thinking like in the future, like we could live in outer space or or, or... yeah, I think hundred percent we could. Maybe like Mars or maybe the moon or something. Okay. All right. And you would and you would do it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay. All right. Roller coasters. Are you a fan or not a fan? I used to hate them, but now I'm a, a fan. I don't go as much as I used to, but I'm still a good fan. Yeah? Okay. All right. So if I was going to give you the choice of having one of these two abilities, right? Telekinesis, the ability to move something with your mind, or mm -hmm. telepathy, the ability to read other people's minds, which one would you want? Um... I'd probably have to say telekinesis. Telekinesis. Move things with my mind. I don't want to just like move, move a bunch of random things without like actually having to move. <laughs> Is there something you would move to you like that you can think of off the top of your head? Like, yeah, I don't have to get up to go to the refrigerator. Yeah, pretty much. I got go get a water, just like bring it towards me. <laughs> All right. So, um, what the what's the best breakfast food? I mean, eggs. I mean, it's simple. You just got to have the eggs. Eggs? All right. Are your yeah. eggs done a particular way? Um, No, I just scrambled. I put some buffalo sauce on top. But... Buffalo sauce on top of the scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. And are we talking about two scrambled eggs, three scrambled eggs? Uh, Two, three if I'm hungry. Okay. All right. All right. So were you cutting weight at all? No, nah, not really. I was walking around at like 68. And uh, I was kind of way to the beginning of the season a little bit, but that'd be like maybe not eating dinner the night before. Okay, but. so so you were you were doing okay, but yeah. even even when we're not cutting weight, wrestlers are always kind of watching what they eat. Was there something that you didn't eat during season that you missed a lot? Um, yeah i I love my gummies, trolleys, just just trolleys specifically. But um, yeah, I I didn't really get to eat a lot of them during the season, but I'm back on it now. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. A couple more before we uh before we move to the uh the other thing. Um, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No, no. no. Why not? Hundred percent no. I I mean I just had it. It's just not good. Not for me. It's just too sweet. It doesn't go on pizza. All right. Music during the warm up. Do you do you listen to music? I listen to music. Usually at my high school practice, we have uh, music during the whole thing. But at Storm, whenever we were doing club practice, we don't have any music. So I think I'd go more. I'm leaning towards music, though. Okay. Do you do you listen to music before? Like, before your state finals, were you listening to something or no? Uh, For a little bit. I don't really enjoy music before matches a lot. But, like, if it's if it's a match that, like, there's people... Like around if it's loud, then yeah, I'll throw on some music. I guess they and what and what would you be listening to? Really nothing. Just like my normal like walk around playlist. Uh it it varies from tournament to tournament, but like I think at state it was like country music. Okay. All right. So not necessarily something to hype you up, just something to kind of just listen to. Take yeah. your brain off of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So um last question before we get to the rest well, some of the wrestling questions. If I were to give you a time machine or a magic wand, which one would you want? I say time machine. 
Yeah. I want to. I'd like going back uh, and like forward in time. I yeah. Would, would you go? Would you go backward or would you go forward first? Ooh, um, I'd probably go backwards first. Go see some historical things. Okay. Any particular time? Um, probably like some biblical times. See all the like, yeah. See about like Jesus and all that. See about like the Roman Empire and all that stuff. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. So let's now transition to to on the mat. When did you when did you first start wrestling? I started wrestling in uh, sixth grade, but I didn't really start taking it seriously until like end of seventh grade year. Okay. And. And I mean, obviously, your older brother wrestles, so so you had that. Was that something that 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 you were like, I'm gonna follow him and and do, I want to wrestle because he's wrestling, or were you like, I'm not sure, I really want to do this, you know, whatever, because it's following Tyler. Like, what what was kind of your thinking as far as getting into wrestling? Yeah, he started his sixth grade year too, and uh, I um, I was like kind of in it. I wasn't really until my sixth grade year and then I was like I didn't want to do it I was being forced to do it every day but then after I got a little bit good I just started to like it more and then so, I started to get better and then get more into it by like seventh grade year so so what was it that that you didn't like about it was it I just I was very fat and I didn't want to like do athletic well not really athletic things but I didn't want to watch my weight pretty much okay okay yeah and and it's tough because we have weight classes and that could be mm -hmm. that could be a tough thing no doubt all mm -hmm. right so um i want you to think back to that sixth grade ethan right now that you're older and have had a lot more experience in the sport and what's a piece of advice that you would give him just go to practice like i would i would try to skip a lot of practices but you just got to go to them even though they might suck you you got to go Okay. All right. So uh, let's, uh, before we get into the actual season and stuff like that, best person you ever wrestled, and, and it doesn't have to be in a match. It could be just a practice or wherever. Who's the best person you ever wrestled? Like, like the best like wrestler that I've ever wrestled? Yeah. Um, obviously, Tyler and Trell and Logan. Those are, they're all really good, ranked in the country. Um, I've rolled around a little bit with Dom Bominelli. I've uh huh. I'm trying to think if there's anybody like collegiate that I've wrestled with. Yeah. I've wrestled with a few collegiate kids, but like I don't remember who all they were because it was at Scuffle. Okay. okay. But um yeah. So how there's... many how many takedowns do you have on Tyler? On Ty on Tyler? Yeah. Well, I was wrestling him all this year with a broken hand. So it was like, it was kind of, he wasn't going a hundred percent, but I, okay. I, do, I do get a few takedowns every now and then. Okay. How about Trell? Trell? Barely any. Like I made <laughs> maybe one. <laughs> and you're bigger than Logan. Does that help? It helps. Not a lot. I get more takedowns on Logan than I do on Trell, but like, so not, not, not many. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the end of last year. And because you just actually talked about Tyler being hurt and um and you were hurt. You got hurt at the end of the season last year. Um how how much did that impact you not being able to wrestle the state tournament? Yeah, it hurt. It hurt so bad cuz I was I already I've always gone and watched like state I think that would be in my second or third year watching like state in person. And I was just always like, I really want to wrestle in there. I really want to wrestle. And then having that delayed one more year, especially when one of my goals was to be a four timer and I got it stripped away from a little injury, like a finger. Like it was, it was not fun. Well, it wasn't a literal injury. Otherwise you would have wrestled. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, yeah, it wasn't like I had to sit out because there was like a staph infection in my finger and like it got, it was going to get to the blood. So I had to sit out, but like it was, 
not – I I thought it was little. I was trying to delay the surgery and do whatever I could to get past, like, sectionals and state, but the doctor was persistent on. So sitting in the stands watching your weight class wrestle for a state title, what are you thinking? It was – it was I don't know because the um the state finals match I remember watching it it was between Philip Jacks and Nathan Nielsen and um I had lost to Philip Jacks by one at our sectional duels back when they had sectional duels and then um it was it was like a it was a close match I think I could have won it but um. And then watching him lose, I don't remember how bad, but he was losing. And I was like, damn, I, I was probably the third best kid in this bracket because it was him that I lost to Phillip and then he lost to them. Yeah. So it kind of hurt a little bit, but yeah. All good. So you, you left the state tournament. You wrestled at Fargo. You, you got a lot of the other matches under your belt over the course of the summer and, and the fall and everything else. And coming into this year, like, I mean, was the goal? I mean, obviously the goal is to win a state title, but were you were you focused on that title, or were you like still just trying to get better, like you were over the summer? I was just trying to get better. I mean, I had thought that I was gonna run through it a lot more than I actually did, but um, the goal is always just to get keep on getting better. State title wasn't isn't like one of my main goals, but it still is one of them. Yeah, but my main yeah. goals are past that like NHSCA or Fargo or stuff like that. So uh did you have any talk to me about going out there like you're at 165 pounds. So you're not at the end of the tournament or end of the finals, but you're also not at the beginning of the finals. Yeah. You know, what things. was what was the two hour and a half, two hours from the time that they gave the introduction to the time you actually got to go on the mat, what was that like for you? It was weird. Because, like, obviously I knew I wasn't going to go straight away. But, like, I still wanted to watch all my other people, like Cardu, Mason, Tyler, at the beginning of the, like, at 20, 26, 32. Right. And so I had to, like, maneuver my way because I couldn't go up to the stands because – I didn't want to like get caught up there and not be able to come back down and have to have that whole thing. So I was trying to like barely see the matches. And then also that my time perception was a lot off because like normally I would only in a duel, I would wrestle or warm up like three matches before, but their three matches is like 30, 45 minutes. Right. Right. Cause they have the awards and everything else. Yeah. And it's, it's just, I was warming up for way too long and then, yeah, it was it was still fun, but like, yeah, it was it was a little frustrating. All right, so what's next for Ethan Sequa? I'm gonna be going over to NHSCA in a few weeks. Okay, but yeah, that's my main tournament. I don't know how. I, I don't know if I have any other on the agenda except for like maybe Fargo. But okay, all right, awesome. All right, so the last question I have is a question I'm asking everybody. And that is, why wrestling? What is it about wrestling that makes it special for you? It's individual. Like, it's it's you, like, it's you versus the other guy. It's not, like, it's not a team sport like football, because I played football. But, um, like, in football, you can be the best player in the world. But if you don't have a good team, you're not going to win. But in wrestling, you can be the best person in the world, and you can show that you're the best person in the world. In that, it's your it's your decision. Yeah. So that individual individuality is really important to you. That it's mm-hmm. all on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Well, Ethan, congratulations on a state title. Good luck in the future in collecting more of them and uh, tying your brother because he has three, right? Yeah, he has three. Yeah, so collecting as many as he does. And uh, I want to wish you the best of luck at NHSCA. It's been a couple weeks, man. Thank you, man. All right.